Um, hi, hello. My name is Nika Zupans. Um, an H is just a number for me, and I'm currently talking from Ljubljana, from my studio here in Slovenia. It was very nice, uh, uh, very normal, I could say, but really, really very nice. So I have a very beautiful memories about my childhood. Um, the curiosity uh, and uh, this ongoing fantasy and love for getting lost in the fantasies and fairy tales. Uh, I see these roles as some sort of expression of my freedom and an expression of my love for life. That my work is about femininity. Um, I believe that uh, contemporary desi design today has this very strong uh, power of storytelling and I sometimes consider myself more of a storyteller than an actual designer. So the names of all of my products or the names of all of my collections always uh, somehow direct you, give you a hint in which direction to look when you look at a certain project. Um, I like to say that if I, you know, would manage to design with such an attention to detail as uh, you can discover in all the novels by Virginia Woolf, that would mean reaching my goal. Um, so, so I'm really interested in everything that is told between the lines, not just in the direct messages, but in the hidden messages. Um, I'm, I really love to live where I live, mainly because my strong uh, connection with nature. Uh, the nature, which is really close to, the, to my home, uh, and of course the sea, especially the Adriatic Sea, is this force that somehow helps me uh, make a distance between the contemporary life and this ongoing, endless, timeless nature. So it's, it's, it's the source of ongoing inspiration. The one thing that I really say really often is let's go to the sea or I want to go to the sea. Oh, I, I just believe you need to keep your fire burning. You need to, to have your passion for, for every project, for every question that arises. I think when I'm out, out of the studio, in the nature, or just living my everyday life, so it's, it's like in the most unexpected places, but usually people are those who really uh, inspire me the most. Uh, for me, of course, it's being completely free and wild uh, in the middle of, of our Adriatic Sea, not really in the middle, more close to the coast, windsurfing, because this was my last holiday on a beautiful island of Brač in Croatia, uh, where I go actually many times because of the wind conditions and windsurfing in the summer. The thing that I don't know what awaits for me around the next corner. So it's always something new. It's always new people, new projects. And this means, of course, entering a completely new world, new cultures. And this is really, really exciting. So not knowing what, what is next. This beginning was, was really wonderful for me uh, because this whole collection, uh, a little bit before Lolita, so the collection with, with this kind of pattern was introduced at Salone del Mobile, at Salone Satellite in Milano, and it really quickly caught the attention of the, the, the really important producers. Um, so I think it was kind of a fate, a destiny to have it produced by Moi uh, under uh, our direction of Marcel Wanders. 
someone cor- courageous always trying to 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 um find a way despite the you know uh, obstacles um ongoing passion for everything I, I do some sort of movement every day and I think it really helps whether it is walking the nature, whether it is kickboxing, uh, uh, the gym. So I need to move to have my mind refreshed uh, every time. Uh, on one one side, I always say if you know I will be reborn, I want to be a professional windsurfer. I, I really love the sea. On the one side, but on the other side, maybe something completely different as writing, writing the stories, uh, telling things through words, not through images. Uh, but when it comes to to look up to people, it's they are coming from really different profession. I don't know. I, for example, really like to follow Lynn's Devon. She's a skier, and I don't even ski myself. But I admire her strength, her power, her attitude as a woman. Uh, so she's just one of the examples. So so I really admire people from different professions and especially people who have the courage to to open new frontiers. I don't know, in reality, it didn't yet happen to me because I I have this mind which is now trained to to, um, think creatively all the time. So when I'm faced with a new task, it's always this wonderful challenge that also always brings uh, answers because the questions are always different. So you cannot kind of be out of ideas because the questions are always new. I don't think I designed a project that was a waste of time. Uh, I, I think all of the products that are now out really, really have a strong story and really uh, um, are important to me uh, and therefore it is also really hard to pick just one you know computer and 3d modeling i always move forward like in general so i i don't look back uh, I, I don't look uh, at my products in in a way how i would redesign them because i think at the moment when they were conceived or done they they were really a representation of that situation and of course of that relationship between me and the company so i'm I, i'm not uh, let's say really talented to redesign because i'm really always looking Um, into the future and for new things. I don't believe in style, so I don't think I have a style. I would say that I have a methodology. Uh, Always the same, uh, quite a lot, 3x. Uh, uh, and always bread and butter, which is then uh, accompanied by green tea. Um, I'm a big uh, fan of Murakami and I was just rereading a book uh, what I speak about when I speak about running. It's really interesting um, intro in, into a creative mind uh, and for me it's really interesting because he also moves a lot and he's creative by moving and there are some similarities uh, in this approach to creativity, so it's a really interesting book for me. So I'm reading it for the second time. These days, nothing. It, it's just silence. Uh, but I mix. I have these days when I need silence to create, and then uh, I can be very eclectic and I can listen to one song on repeat for the whole week. I try to, you know, uh, really, really relax, to to really do nothing, to kind of uh, have space for my mind to to dream a little.
movies lately, but when I was much younger, books. Um, set. Black. Abstraction. Um, currently, I'm working on a few new collections that will be hopefully presented in September in Salone del Mobile, if it happens. Um, it's, of course, too, too early to announce them or, or to say more about them, but, but we as a studio are really excited. And uh, together with that, we are also working on two new interiors. So it's a very exciting year ahead of me. Oh, I would like to stir up the future with a little bit more fun that we had in this year. <laughs> so I'm really hoping uh, that despite this very serious situation around the world, we are still able, you know, to have these very precious small moments uh, where you just, you know, meet people you love and, and have fun with them.